good morning students so welcome back now last time we have seen electric circuit that is the path required for the continuous flow of the electric current which contains conducting wires a switch and a bulb connected to the cell so when it is continuous path it is called as the electric circuit and at that time current flows and the bulb flows then we have seen the electric switch that is the simple device which is used for breaking the circuit or making the circuit so that is the simple device the device we use it at home also various types of electrical switches we are using no doubt they are complex but the one we have shown i have shown in the last activity that is the simple one the switches we have got at our home they are no doubt complex form of it okay but they work on the same principle right now the next part of the topic electric conductors and insulators now last time we have seen that we are used conducting wires they were made up of metals exactly they were of metals you can see here i have got this wire this is copper you have got aluminium wires also okay then metals are used for making wires and i have connected them to make the circuit just imagine if i have used the thread to make the circuit would current have flown through that you do that at home and see whether it is possible no it is not possible you need metal wires only so that means we can classify the two types of substances that is there are certain substances through which current can flow easily and there are certain substances through which current does not flow at all right and so then what they are called so let us do one activity activity number 5 where we are going to see certain substances now i have collected some one some of them and then we are going to make a table like this okay that is object used in place of the switch i am going to remove that switch and there there is where the circuit is going to be broken so in that place instead of that switch we are going to connect different types of objects and then we are going to see bulb blows on them. okay so what we are going to do objects used in the place of the switch now these are the objects given in the text you can use any objects okay and you can test it if you have got interest you should have the interest okay that material it is made up of means for example key it is made up of metal eraser it is made up of rubber scale it is made up of plastic now scales they are they have got various material wooden scales are there plastic scales are there then nowadays we have got rubber scales also and metal scales are the also there steel scale right then plastic you know it is always made up of wood right then glass bangle okay and iron nail that is also metal and first two are they have shown that in case of key bulb glows but in case of eraser bulb does not glow okay so let us do that activity now i may not have some of this material but i have collected various types of other materials also we'll check them whether they glow or they don't glow. okay let us do that activity now see dear students i have got this circuit the only thing is i have connected one more cell so that uh, bulb will glow more brightly because initially it was uh, one uh, electric cell but the bulb was not glowing uh, that brightly and so i have connected two cells and here the electric switch was there that we have removed okay so these two ends within these two ends we are going to connect the various types of objects so as given in the table there is first key which is to be connected so what i have done i have taken this key okay and i have connected to one end of the wire and second end i have connected here can you see bulb glows see here bulb glows right so bulb glows because current flows through the metal key and hence bulb glows right now so the substances which allow electric current to pass through them they are called as good conductors so it is a metal key and hence this is 
a good conductor this metal key is a good conductor of electricity or electric current and so only your wires copper they are made up of copper okay these wires they are made up of copper and so you can see the bulb glows can you see just a minute you can see the bulb glows okay now next i can show is just a minute let me adjust it so next i am taking a chalk piece okay a chalk piece i have kept here chalk piece can you see the bulb here is the bulb okay now let us see what happens i have connected the chalk piece one end of the wire and the next end i have connected does the bulb glow no so what it means electric current does not flow through the chalk piece even if it is connected okay and what it suggests that is the chalk piece does not allow electric current to flow through it what it means that chalk piece is called as the insulator that is the substances which do not allow electric current to flow through them they are called insulator so chalk piece is an insulator does the bulb glow no now so chalk piece is an insulator now i am taking next i am taking is the scale now they have said plastic scale okay so i have used here plastic scale so i am connecting it see the bulb whether it glows or not okay now see whether it glows i have connected both the ends between the two ends of the wire does it glow no so plastic scale is also an yes insulator it is an insulator now what i'm doing i'm using scale made up of steel okay steel scale so it is a metal right so let us check what happens does the bulb glow can you see the bulb yes you can okay so see bulb glows yes so what can you say as it is made up of steel so bulb glows and hence this is good conductor of electricity okay now now i am taking eraser okay now eraser it is made up of yes exactly it is made up of rubber okay so i am connecting the two ends of the wires to the two ends of the rubber does the bulb glow can you see the bulb does the bulb glow no the bulb does not glow means rubber is an oh yes exactly rubber is an insulator okay now see i have got pin okay this is the drawing pin it is called okay now let us connect it i am connecting between the two ends of the wire and let us see whether the bulb glows oh yes bulb glows because again it is made up of metal and as it is made up of metal it is good conductor of electricity okay now see this is insulation uh, this is plastic okay over the metallic wires you can see here this 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 coating i have removed okay and this we are going to check it whether it is a good conductor or bad conductor of electricity see ah uh, whether bulb glows or not do the bulb glow no and hence this plastic or rubber whatever it is this is plastic here okay it is insulated and so only these coatings over the wires they are made up of yes they are made up of plastics or rubbers because they are insulated and so only you will not get shock na right current will not flow through them and so you will not get the shock right then then i am using iron nail you know nails yes here now i am connecting it okay let us see what happens oh yes bulb glows so iron is also metal iron nail is a metal and hence it is a good conductor of electricity then i am going to use see this do you know this lead pencil abhi hum log dekhenge kya hai okay is it a good conductor or bad conductor of electricity 
क्या हो गया ओ माय गॉड बल्ब ग्लोज यू कैन सी है क्या हो गया बल्ब ग्लोज अरे बाप ये जो लेड हम लोग यूज करते हैं वो क्या है गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यू कैन सी राइट इट इज अ गुड कंडक्टर एक्चुअली कार्बन लेड मीन्स इट इज मेड फ्रॉम ग्राफाइट एंड ग्राफाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन एक्चुअली इज अ बैड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट कार्बन इन ग्राफाइट फॉर्म एज यूर यू हैव सीन लेड इट इज गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट इज अ स्पेशल केस ओके ना यू माइट हैव सीन सी दिस वुडन बोर्ड ना टेबल इफ आई कनेक्ट हियर does the bulb close i have connected both the ends here does the bulb close no so wood is a bad conductor of electricity or if i take the duster this is the duster if i connect here between the two ends does the bulb close no so again it is a bad conductor of electricity same way on that day we have used here na this circuit you know this right this circuit here it is cardboard or wooden board okay and now when the pin is broken uh, means the circuit is broken this is the switch okay do the bulb glow here are the two bulbs they don't glow but when we make the connection do the bulb glow yes so at that time the current flows but now here when i'm breaking the circuit this pin is in contact with the board and this board is also in contact with the cell but do the current flows now these two pins are uh, these two ends of the switch they are connected to the board but do the current flows no because this board is insulated it is bad conductor of electricity same way your thermocol is not a good conductor of electricity hence it is insulated one more thing between these two switches uh these two ends of the switch there is nothing means air is there do the current flows no current does not flow and hence air is also insulated air is not good conductor of electricity do you get it and so now let us come on to the board i have shown you the activity and so then make the table here okay and scale plastic was the current flowing no so was the will the bulb glow no right that matchstick now wood i have shown so wood is a bad conductor i have shown you so matchstick will the bulb glow no so it is an insulator then glass banger i have shown uh, i have shown you plastic but glass also uh, electric current does not flow you can check it you can check it and so material made up of glass will in that case bulb will not glow so it is also insulator and iron nail i have shown you it is metal and bulb glows so it is a good conductor so again i repeat what are good conductors the substances which allow electric current to flow through them easily are called good conductors of electricity metals all types of metals copper iron uh, gold silver and aluminum all these are good conductors of electricity but we use copper and aluminum for making wires gold and silver are the best conductor but then too, third one is copper and then comes aluminum but we use copper and aluminum for making wires why not gold and are it is a simple hai kya it is too costly and secondly if we makes the wire if we make the wires overhead wires made of gold ya silver raat to raat chori ho jayenge right and they will be taken away for making ornaments do you know that gold is a precious metal silver is a precious metal and they are too costly so it is not advisable to use that even though they are the best conductor and so copper is used but nowadays the cost of copper is also too high it is too costly and hence aluminum overhead wires are used you can see mcb wires okay on the road they are silvery white color that's so that is aluminum wire okay so nowadays aluminum is mostly used do you get it now the substances which do not allow electric current to flow through them they are called as insulators so rubber plastic wood these are all examples of insulator air as i have shown you air is also an example of insulator thermocol it does not allow uh, electric current to flow the, through the them so it is an example of insulator okay so suppose if it is asked give two examples of good conductors metals 
okay iron copper aluminium and so on uh, good conductors then insulators what are insulators rubber plastic thermocol wood right these are paper you can check with the paper also okay paper it is an insulator so these are examples of insulators okay now see dear students so good conductors they are used for making your switches making your sockets making uh, your various electric circuits at the same time insulators they are used for covering them for example i have got here electric board so this is all made up of plastic you know this is plastic so this is insulator but here the sockets which are made they are containing metal now see the plug this is a plug now this is metallic wire to which the current will flow and it goes through this wire there is a wire inside it and that that is made up of maybe copper okay and so if you remove this covering now this is covering plastic coated why because we should not get electric shock otherwise electric current will pass through because our body is also good conductor and so we get shock na and so to avoid that here there is plastic coating in this plug you can see there is plastic coating if i touch this i'll get a severe shock and it may be fatal it may lead to death and so while putting always put the switch off and then put in then insert it in the socket otherwise don't okay don't do that when the switch is on in some cases in what happens this comes in contact with our fingers and the current passes and we get shock so try to avoid that and that is very fatal okay this is another board i have got okay so you can see here this is all made up of plastic these are switches they are made up the covering of the switches they are all made up of plastic but inside this there is metallic part okay if you open if you have got outdated switch at your home see it from back side there are metal connectors okay and so current flows through them so when i switch off current will stop when i switch on current will on current will pass okay these are sockets inside this there are metals and here these are the covers okay so overall what we can say that is insulators and good conductors they are used in our day to day life okay that is the substances which allow electric current to pass through them and the substances which do not allow electric current to pass through them they are used in our homes in our day to day life okay they have been part and parcel of our life okay but at the same time our body too is a good conductor of electricity so while working with electricity we have to take certain precautions first thing use rubber soled footwear so that the contact with the ground cannot be made and current will not pass through your body second use gloves of plastic or rubber while working with electricity and the most important thing first when you are working with electricity switch off the electricity main switch so that current will not flow through the circuit so there is no question of getting shock okay and use this rubber gloves or rubber sole footwear while pressing your clothes always you should be standing on a wooden plank dry wooden plank okay or you should be wearing rubber sole footwear why in some cases current leaks from that electric iron and you may get a severe shock that it can lead to death okay so to avoid that we should take these precautions so dear students in this particular topic named electricity and circuits what we have studied how electricity is generated that is electric cell then first first of all we have seen what how electricity is useful in our day to day life and how it has made our life easy luxurious then we have seen how it is produced only one source that is electric cell okay then we have studied about electric circuit what is electric circuit how current flows okay then then we have talked about electric switch and then we have studied that substances they may be of two types some may allow electric current to flow to them some may not allow electric current to flow to them so they are good conductors and insulators and good conductors and insulators how they are utilized to make various types of electrical appliances that what we have seen i have shown the examples so please read the topic and try to solve the extra questions that i will give you so this topic is finished here let us stop here and in my next video i will give you the textual exercise so let us stop here and meet in the next period
tuned in goodbye thank you